Food is everything to me. Food is love, food is passion, food is adventure, food is family, food is comfort, food is, you know, for me, like the most fundamental form of expression. One of our, the ways that we used to express love and community in our families by feeding people and gathering people together um, over meals. My father even used to, used to cook when, um, when I was young. Every Sunday would be reserved for him to prepare special Bengali dishes like jingri mach and you know and posto alu posto and things like that. So I grew up understanding that you know my background was also embedded in the flavors of a lot of the tastes you know of my childhood and I've really carried that forward. So you know eating my way across the world has been a secret passion. And of course I had the opportunity to host uh, Top Chef Canada and, and I jumped at the opportunity for a number of reasons. First of all, I was recovering from cancer and it also felt like the right timing to take on a hosting gig because, you know, I mean, I'm more of an actor than anything else. But, you know, the combination of that and the opportunity to, to sample some of the best food in the entire country prepared by some of the most promising young chefs was something I couldn't say no to. A place like India, for instance, a lot of our cuisine, the food and the spices are actually embedded in uh, Ayurveda. So Ayurveda is the ancient science of life. It's the Indian form of medicine. Turmeric is used in a lot of uh, the dishes, you know, when you're preparing a curry or a dal, which is a lentil dish. Of course, now everyone's talking about the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric and that it's anti-cancer. You know, this is really, really important. So, you know, a lot of people are taking turmeric supplements. But we've been using it in Indian cuisine for many, many millennium, knowing the properties as well. Like for instance, turmeric in India, if you get a cut or a scratch, people actually put turmeric on it, like a paste of turmeric, and it heals. The basic recipe of any curry is to combine turmeric with black pepper. And I think that that's really significant. And that's what you find out when you travel and you eat your way across the globe. There's a lot of um, incredible traditions and ancient wisdom that is embedded in a lot of the cuisines, the great cuisines around the world. Of course, we talk about the Mediterranean diet as well and how good it is for you. And I love also Italian food. And that following a basic Mediterranean diet um, is gonna confound, you know, uh, the fat uh, in you. I've also lived in Italy and I've lived also in Paris. It's a little bit of a cliche, but it's true because all of the people that you see, they, they enjoy their food. They really relish their food and yet they're so slim and relatively healthy, I would say to a lot of North Americans. And I honestly believe that again, it is because they enjoy their food. It's because they don't necessarily rush their lunches, you know, it's not like they're sitting at their desk and sort of chowing down, you know, a, a quick sandwich. Lunches are really sacred. Sitting down and eating is a sacred ritual. And it's something that you share with friends and something that shouldn't be rushed. And of course that also helps your digestion. So if you enjoy your food, if you relish it, I really believe that it's, you're actually going to digest it better. It's going to have a physical effect. And I think that's something in North America we have to remind ourselves about. And it's only by leaving North America that you understand other cultures' attitudes towards food, which is really, really important. I think you can actually tell a lot about a culture and a people by their attitudes toward food and their attitudes toward feeding themselves and how much they enjoy their food. And like I said, we have to remember that in a lot of older cultures, food was a form of healing, the kind of spices and the kind of herbs. Like there is a medicinal effect to a lot of herbs, whether you're talking about basil or mint, they have these innate kind of healing properties in them that we have to remember again, you know, like again, mint tea is so important, right? It's a great digestive. Let's not forget all these things. Let's, let's try to go back to them. And these are really, really beautiful ways of enhancing your everyday life as well. And mindfulness when you eat is so, so important because you could have the most incredible delicacy in front of you or the most incredible meal. But if your mind is somewhere else, you know, and you're eating it mechanically, What's the point? It's a wasted opportunity, it's a wasted moment, and all we have in life are our moments. Life is really just a string of moments and being aware and being present in that particular moment and enjoying and relishing that moment for all that it's worth.